So today is the day of the rematch. We're playing Tamworth again, second time in four days. Last match we beat them 6-0, that was in the league, this time in the second qualifying round of the FA Cup. Will there be some FA Cup magic for Harriers? Second win against Tamworth out of two, or will Tamworth get their revenge against Harriers and get through to the third qualifying round of the FA Cup? So Harriers lineup has just been released. There is one change from the victory over Tamworth on Tuesday night. It is James McQuilkin being dropped in place of Ashley Carter. So it's a sort of like for like change. McQuilkin's more of an attacking player than Carter. Carter's more defensive, they're, but they're both, they can both play in midfield. I would expect Carter to, Carter to uh, sit deeper in Ryan Crowsdale's role and Crowsdale to do, uh, move a bit forward, but I would have just kept it the same. I don't know whether it's a, um, an injury or not, but the rest of the team is exactly the same. So we've got Hornby in goal, back four Williams, Lowe, Tunnicliffe and Francis Angle. Then in midfield we've got Carter, Ungawatala and Crowsdale. Then out wide on the right we've got Waite, on the left we've got Arthur Ganoa and up front we have the big man Manny Di Sereve. So without any further ado, let's head up to Agbra. Go on you Harriers! Advanced they are. <laughs> Basically all on the halfway line. So 4-0 today, following that 6-0 victory on Tuesday. 10 goals on aggregate, if you look at it that way, over the two matches. Really good performance. Once again, man of the match. Probably give it to Elton and Guatala. He was outstanding today. Same as Tuesday, really. He's been probably his two best Harriers matches. And he's probably our best player in the team, probably, to be honest, in terms of natural ability. Four, uh, four decent goals. It was, well... The first three, a um, little bit, little bit scrappy, particularly I think the second and third. Uh, but the first one was a really nice little set piece routine at the corner, really, really nice, straight off the training ground. Really, really good. Ingwertala with the finish. Then uh, it was Di Sareve with uh, two goals. After that, he's really been the one um, sort of player that really needs to step up and score goals because he hasn't really done so so far. But he's now got six goals for the season, which is okay. Still nothing like Danny Rose, 16 for filed. But uh, yeah, six goals, uh, four of which are in the league. So not, not too bad. Hopefully he can start to get some form uh, because that would really, really help us out, him scoring loads of goals. Uh, then the fourth goal was, uh, I think it was Arthur Ganoa in the second half. Um, 
again, just just getting through and scoring scoring the goal. Simple, really, by our standards. But yeah, nice a nice um, nice victory through to the third qualifying round of the FA Cup. Tamworth didn't get their revenge. They were just as poor as they were on Tuesday. They didn't learn absolutely anything at all from that loss on Tuesday. They played exactly the same way. We played exactly the same way, and it was exactly the same sort of result. 4-0 this time just instead of 6 so yeah really really happy with that result if you've enjoyed this video then please hit that like button and subscribe as I really appreciate it and it massively helps my channel out so yeah thanks for watching hello there my name is Luke and today I'm off to watch Kidderminster Harriers again today we are playing Tamworth this is the first of, first of two matches in the space of four days against Tamworth we're playing them on Saturday in the FA Cup but today it is in the league